All right, guys, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, cleanpowerwash.com. Drew this diagram up. Um, I am not an artist by any stretch, but hopefully this will make sense to you. If you have a proportioner or metering system, it's all based off of suction. You have your four lines, your water, your soap, and then your this will be your bleach valve here, but your bleach valve should go to an SH line and to water. Um, obviously, I've got this crisscrossed here, but depending on what your orientation, doesn't really matter which left or right is going to bleach your water. Um, but we've got our bleach, we've got the water, and then on these, I would hard plumb all of this in, guys. Get get yourself, um, you know, a um, bulkhead here up top. Get your drop stick, drop tube, and your pickup filter. It's not going to be as big of an issue in the water tank, um, although granted, sometimes if you're dumping from other sources, you might have some garbage in there. Um, definitely want to have your bleach with a filter on there, soap, we don't filter. Um, from the proportioner, we need, in order to create suction over here, we have to have your booster needs to be sucking water, sucking fluid. Well, in order to get that to happen, it needs to be force-fed at first. It needs water flowing through it. Um, so what you'll have most times is you'll have this water line, some incoming water here, and that's going to connect to your house water flow. Um, if you watch any of the stuff with Tim Azelton, what he does is once it's all good and going, he soaps, and then you know it's all coming from the proportioner here. And then when he's ready to rinse... He just switches this ball valve up top here. So it's now taking the force fed water. So now he's taking that incoming water pressure, comes through the booster, gets increased, and does a great job of rinsing. What we've done, the only thing we've added differently on here, is that we now have the ability to take water from our buffer tank through the bottom. So this is coming through the bottom here, comes out, goes into our water inlet line goes through here. Um, the main drawback you'll have with this is that if you're not being patient or not understanding what you're doing, you may say, oh, it's not working. Um, you know, usually we've got a pretty full tank of water, so that's putting additional flow through it. Um, we've had one time where what I ended up doing was I actually took the pressure washer and hooked the pressure washer loosely up to the hose reel and force fed water through here to get it going once you've got water flowing through here this booster is going to suck water straight out of that buffer tank and through here um, we did have to put a check valve in line here because when our water would come through come up to the top and we had float valves for our other water tanks and every or the other incoming water it would then shut off up here and then it would start to backfill and fill up from the bottom which didn't work too well um, guys, I hope that helps again once you're on the outside. So this one shown with the recirculation kit comes through that other T. If you've got the pro switch, you'll have it out here. Um, that just shuts it off once it hits pressure. Uh, and again, what we like to do is run this T. You can either run a PVC, um, through a T here, or you can have a ball valve, um, or three-way valve. The nice thing with the three-way valve is that I can force all flow to come out through here and it basically this whole thing is its own thing. It's blocked off. Nothing's getting through there. <clears throat> um, what we currently have set up on it is actually that this is just a PVC T. So fluids coming through here. If this gun is closed, for the most part what's in here isn't going anywhere. It can still be mixed. If you if you let your machine sit the fluid that's in this portion of the loop and what's in here, this is eventually going to work its way backwards and we'll get into all this. So it'll all be, you know, if this was just water that you're running, well, you stop it for a little bit, the bleach that's in this line is going to start mixing with it. We just have this, this is like a three foot long, um, three quarter inch hose that goes to a hose barb and then ball valve so that we can either fill a bucket if we need to, um, we can rinse the system, and also when we're doing the initial priming, we just have, we'll go back and forth through there. This will be open or we'll have it choked so it's not fully open. That allows us to prime the whole system um, right where we are. We don't have to take the hose 
extended or any of that stuff. And then also once we've primed all this, which takes us about a minute or two, um, tops, then as soon as we're, we're happy with what's coming out of here, we've got our proportioner set to whatever percents we need. We then just take this, um, close that valve and take this gun and start spraying solution on the roof or the house or whatever we may be cleaning. Um, if you've got an air diaphragm pump, same thing. The only difference is that the priming aspect of it is not as necessary. Um, but with an air diaphragm pump, you do lose a considerable amount of PSI and flow uh, when compared to a booster. A booster, I can fully wash a house and rinse it with that booster in an efficient manner. Um, with an air diaphragm pump, it quite frankly is a losing battle to try to soak with the air and then rinsing with the air system. Um, there's very little flow pressure um, movement of, of fluids to be able to clean stuff off. Um, we are able to blast lichen off the side of a chimney from about 10, 10 to 12 feet away. Um, with the air system, we'd have to literally be within like a half inch to get that same uh, moss and lichen off of it. So hope that helps you. Um, Again, all of this up here is, is how it always needs to be. What's over here, I would highly recommend to set this up because it gives you options. I can plumb and or prime my system in the field without this. If I don't have that over there, I'm fine. I can still get water coming through here and get my system going. Have a great night. See ya.